building a multi-generational practice can be difficult for financial advisors. Joined today, luckily, by Russ and Grant Nealon to talk about how they have successfully done it. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. So, Russ, tell me, was it always your goal, your desire, for your son to join the family business? Uh, it was, um, but it was nothing that I wanted to put on him. Uh, you know, I, was, uh, I grew up on a small farm, so being that, my dad didn't necessarily want me to follow the path uh, of life that he had. And it was something I learned and wanted to pass on to my sons, too, is be passionate about whatever you're going to do. And if that would be what we're doing, that'd be great. Grant, what about you? Did you want to join the family business as you were growing up? Not necessarily. Uh, I started out of college in a completely different industry, and about six years ago, I uh, started working at TD Ameritrade. Um, so then the conversation evolves over the last year and a half or two years, um, and that's really when it became more of a goal and, and an idea. It can be challenging to work with your son, to work with family. What are some of the biggest hurdles you guys have had to overcome since you started working together? You know, I would say the, the most important one has just been keeping it professional uh, at work. And so we had a lot of conversations over time um, and some planning of how we how we did that. So it's always Russ and Grant in the office well, and, dad. Uh, and dad at no. night. Yeah. Keeping yeah. keeping personal and professional separated. That's really, really interesting. Now, the next generation advisor brings a lot to a practice. Grant, talk to me about some of the you know, new ideas, the things that you've brought in that have helped the practice here. Yeah, I think coming from TD Ameritrade was a lot of it. Um, at TD Ameritrade, I was able to see a lot of different advisors and how they were doing things and, and wealth managers out there. But I think what I'm starting to find more of is you know, that next generation, they may not always want to work with who their parents are working with. So uh, creating those relationships in that next generation can be very valuable valuable because they may want to know that somebody isn't going to be retiring in the next 10 years or need to be, need to create a new relationship after that time has passed. So that's been the benefit of, of working with Russ and, and kind of building that practice and working with the next generation. Has it been a huge benefit having that next generation there too? Yeah, absolutely. Um, for, for many reasons. One, it's a fresh perspective. Um, second, uh, his skill set is very different than mine. Uh, and I think that really helps round out the, not only the relationships that we have currently, but the next generation investor. Uh, it gives us perspective of how to, how to approach them. So what's your plan for growth for the business from here? Uh, you know what, we have some, some aggressive plans. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I think uh, as we start to, to uh, work jointly with clients, uh, I think the sky's you know, really the limit. We've got some great potential uh, because of our different skill sets. Absolutely. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. Some really great insights and appreciate you joining us here today. You're Absolutely. welcome. Thanks, Excellent. Matt. Thank you, Matt. For Investment News, I'm Matt Ackerman.